time in YouTube and welcome back to Deck Profiles. Today we are looking over a Passimian build. Um, brand new Sun and Moon decks. Hype is real and TCGO is incredibly insane right now. If you're trying to get new cards, keep in mind that everything is hugely fluctuated. So stick with the little builds if you can. Like little Passimian here who's an uncommon who's got a pretty cool deck build around him. Now, I'm going to be huge here and state that I did not come up with the immediate idea. Um, I'm going to have a link down the bottom for Yellow Swallow. Make sure to hit him up. He is the one that I actually took, not the full deck list, but I took the idea from him. So, make sure to hit him up. Fantastic YouTuber and definitely needs more support than he's ever been getting. Especially with the Sun and Moon decks that are coming out. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, Passimian is the 110 HP fighting type Pokemon with... Fling, for one fighting energy, you're going to be able to do uh, 30 damage to one of your opponent's active po or bench Pokemon. And you also have Team Play, which is the biggest, most important attack here, which we'll be getting to in a second. So Team Play is going to cost you two colorless energy. It's going to do 10 damage, but you're going to do an additional 30 damage for each bench Passimian. So if you can get all four of them out, you can do 100 damage per turn, which isn't too bad considering you are a non-EX attacker. Um, and you know what? That's, that's pretty pretty easy range you can knock out most EXs like that um, now we're gonna be partnering it up with the Mew 50 HP psychic type Pokemon with memories of dawn this Pokemon can use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play uh, you still need the necessary energies to use this as the attack you also have encounter for one colorless energy so your deck for Pokemon reveal it and put it into your hand the idea here is to do some massive damage while trading non EX attackers for EX attackers. So hopefully we'll be able to win in the exchange here. And we've got eight potential ways to keep the Passimian alive. And if Mew is the one attacking, you'll have four benched Passimian giving you the opportunity to do what? 130 da- yeah, 130 damage. So we keep that in mind as well. Now we are using Shamans. You can use Oranguru or you can use Remoraid, depends on how you feel. Or sorry, not Remoraid, Octillery. Especially if you're going for a budget deck, you can easily get those two cards to work exceptionally well, especially with the strategy of going for just straight up no EX attackers. But I thought Shaman would be a nice fit. Um, this way we can get ourselves running a little smoother at the start. Uh, next up, we have the brand new trainer card that is re uh, that has been released with Sun and Moon, and that is the Nest Ball. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it into your bench. So we will not be searching for Shamans, but we will be searching for Mews and Passimians. Uh, next up, we have the Revive. Put a basic Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. So if I do happen to have to discard one, I can just easily revive them and put them back on just like that. We have the special charge, and as you can see down in the bottom, once I sh well, I'll show you right now. Uh, our biggest energy cap is going to be the four DCEs. Um, Passimian only needs a double colorless energy to attack, so what we're going to be doing there is going to be making sure that we do not run out of that. So special charge here, get to shuffle two special energy cards from our discard pile back into our deck. This gives us that opportunity to have pretty much what, like eight double colorless energies, uh, depending on how we use the special charges. And next up we have the switch. I have not pulled a golden switch, I'm hoping to eventually. But you get to switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench. Beautiful! I can get that uh, the Shaman out of there, I can get the Passimian out of there, maybe use the Muse. All good, all good in the hood at the end of the day. Uh, next up we have Town Map, turn all prizes face up. This is definitely very key because we want to make sure we can find those Passimians ASAP. Um, again, our maximum damage output is by having all four of them on the bench. So if I can get those Passimians out of the prizes, I need to do it as soon as possible. Uh, we have the Trainer's Mail, look at top four cards of your deck, reveal a trainer card from there, and excluding Trainer's Mail of course, and put it into your shelf of your deck afterwards. This is going to help us siphon through our cards, just nice, fast, done. Um, I believe Yellow used Acrobike as well. Uh, that was a way to get one card in your hand, one card in the discard pile, and he was using the revives to get the Pokemon back from the discard pile. You can use that. There, that's what I love about uh, TCG, is everybody's going to come up with a really cool idea, and you can kind of alter it to make it your own. Uh, next up, we have the Golden Ball, of course. The Ultra Ball. Uh, discard two cards from your hand, search for a Pokemon, Reveal it, put it in your hand, 
Beautiful. This is our primary way of getting Shaman. Um, uh, other than that, it can get you your Pissimians and your Muse, whatever you need. We have the VS Seeker. Put a supporter card from your discard pile back into your hand. It keeps us going nice and smooth. Make sure we have the right utility when we need it. Uh, our stadium of choice is going to be Skyfield. And the reason for this is because you're going to want four Pissimian on the bench. Plus a Mew. Plus the Shaman that you used. There's going to be a lot of reasons for using this. Now, what's nice about this is it's not absolutely vital that we have to have it. Now, a... Uh, Parallel City will hinder us a lot because we will have to discard our Pokemon, but by doing so we'll be able to get all these things back with the revive and all that, so we, we've kind of safety netted a little bit. But Skyfield is our stadium of choice because we do want to get those Pissimians out. We want to have that opportunity to have maybe one or two Mews set up, and of course that poor Shaman that had to come down to get those uh, extra cards in our hand. Uh, we've got the Hex Maniac because our opponent is going to probably play some sort of weird abilities, and we want to be able to shut them off. Uh, we do not want them to get any further advantages if we don't have to. Uh, we've got the Lysanders, because let's be honest here, we're going to want to start threatening things that are bigger than us before they're set up. So Lysander is going to come in clutch in that regard. Uh, we've got the N. Each player shuffles his or her hand back into their deck, and then we're going to draw cards <coughs> equal to the remaining prizes. I might switch these out for a Lima one time just to kind of see how they run better. And also we'll i uh, got a few good old Pokemon over here called Kukui. Uh, draw two cards during the turn. During this turn, your opponent's your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage. I don't know why I can't talk like a regular man because I'm crazy. All right. <clears throat> Kukui is a pretty interesting supporter. Now I have not been able to get two full arts yet. They're coming. Um, don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and pimp my deck out as best I can. Those Ultra Balls, those Kukuis, everything. It's gonna get it's gonna get pimped out. Don't you worry. We have the Pokemon Ranger. Remove all effects of attacks uh, on each player and his or her Pokemon. Pretty nice, pretty straightforward. Uh, next up, we've got the Professor Sycamore. It's very simple, discard your hand, draw seven cards. This is going to get us our good old momentum of getting more cards, and hopefully we can play them. Uh, next up, we have the Skyla. Search your deck for a basic, er, for a trainer card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. This can get us our good old town map. It can get us our... Ultra Balls, it can get us a Skyfield, Nest Ball, another supporter for the next turn, or it could get us the good old Bursting Balloon, which is a very nice hand in hand with Passimian because, let's be honest here, you're going to want to go for those cheeky monkeys and one shot KO them. Bursting Balloon is going to make you pay for it by dealing 60 damage to yourself. Well, this is also, in conclusion, going to do a lot more damage because of Passimian. Already able to do 100 damage. You're going to be able to get this additional attack off with 100, with 60 damage because of themselves. So Bursting Balloon is pretty cool. Um, I really enjoy it. And then lastly, we have the four DCEs. And we have, I'm running five Fighting Energy. You don't necessarily need to run this, but I've always been the type of person to run a few basic energies. Just this way, I can not only use Fling in case a Pokemon does retreat to the bench, but I can actually get my attacks going without having to worry so much on the double colorless energy. Um, I do believe in the yellow swallow version of this, he doesn't actually run fighting energy. You guys can just run double colorless energy and he ran some other trainers. Um, but like I said, if you want to check out his side of the video, make sure to go check out that link because I'll try and I'll try and link everything up so you guys can watch it. Um, but that is it for this version of the deck. We're gonna go on to Pokemon TCGO Check it, check it out with two nice matches. Again, I don't know why I can't talk right now. My mind is just going cuckoo. But uh, we're going to see if we can win two matches, see how well the deck runs, and see if we can run into any other cool Sun and Moon decks as well. Alright guys, first match for Pissimian is against Matt Durrell playing a Water, Colorless, Psychic, Fighting, Deck. I don't know what we're expecting yet. Could be anything. Could be Basimian. Could be running the Remoraid. I, I don't know. Uh, we are going to go first here. Let's do first. Should have gone second. Uh, we are going to be able to go... Ooh, our opponent has no Pokemon, which is great for us. Means we get an additional card here. So kind of glad I went first now. Uh, we are going to see that they're running a... Delayed deck. Interesting. Interesting! Kind of interested to see what we're gonna see here. 
I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see that our opponent still has no cards. He does have Faded Town as we of his stadium, so we've gotta keep that in mind, but it's not gonna affect us. We don't have any Megas. Uh, but our opponent did get a basic this time. And we're gonna see what exactly is going to be attacking us. Now, unfortunately, both of our Pokemon are weak to Psychic, both Mew and Passimian, so gotta keep that in mind as we're going through this as well. Uh, but I would love to draw two additional cards. One being a Nest Ball, which is gonna get us a Passimian. It's a Doduo in the front. Doduo in the front. We're gonna get our Passimian on the bench. We're gonna go with a nice energy drop here. I'm gonna ditch. I wanna get these guys in the uh, discard pile this way I can DSC for them later. I can get for a third Passimian. The fourth one is prize, so I gotta keep an eye on that. This is where Town Map will come in handy later. Um, do I need a Shaman? <clears throat> I don't really. I'm just gonna opt to Sycamore. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a Mew. This way I can get myself all set up nice and cozy later. Uh, we do not need to play the good old Shaman right now, so I'll pass the turn. We're kinda set up. Only if I can get that fourth Passimian will it really matter. I would like one of those. I would like one of those big tap. We're gonna see that we're playing against a Zygarde uh, deck? I thought I saw Psychic in there, but it could be Gallade. Could be delayed. We are going to get Ender right now, which is not a big deal. We do have another Nest Ball. We have a Skyfield to kind of open up our bench space. We have a Switch if necessary. We're just going to get him in. Damn it. I don't care. I will take a win. And our first match is against Scyther Legend playing a water deck. Kind of hype to see what we're going to be playing against this time. Maybe it's a Lapras GX? Who knows what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to flip Tails on this good old lovely Rowlet coin. I love it so much and his face is going to come up, show it, and we're going to lose the coin toss. But that's okay. My opponent's going to go first. Gives us maybe the opportunity to attack first, especially with two Passimians in front with a double colorless energy. I'm kind of liking my odds right now. I'm kind of liking my odds right now. So we're going to drop the Passimian down. We got another one coming down. And a Mew. Actually, I should have led with Mew. I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. Should have led with Mew. Would have gotten additional damage off. We're going to see that it's a Blastoise EX deck. That's kind of cool. Now our opponent is going to drop a nice water energy down, go for the rough seas. I'm going to be able to counter that. Ah, uh, never mind, I'm not going to be able to counter that. My opponent's just going to end me. And my poor double colorless under- I had literally, like, everything I needed right there. And now I have poop. Now I have poop! We see a dive ball. What is my opponent going to go for here? Goes for the Remorade. So he's got the artillery engine in this deck. Uh, probably liking the fact that it's all water based instead of having the shaman as a as a weird draw. He I called it! There's a Lapras GX in this deck! I so called it! <laughs> so we are gonna be able to get the uh I should have honestly just gone for the uh Mew drop. But what can I say? We got a couple turns here. My opponent can really only go for rapid spins. Um I'm not going to waste my Bursting Balloon just yet. I might Ultra Ball for another Passimian. Increase my damage output before we go for the attack. And we're going to see that actually all four Passimians are in the deck, which is very good to know. Very, very good to know. Uh, there we go. Drop that down. I'm not going to use the Bursting Balloon just yet. Don't really need to. And we're going to be able to do a little bit more damage. Uh, in comparison to the 30 damage that Rough Seas is going to actually recover. Uh, actually, we're going to be able to get rid of that thanks to the good old Sky Field. <clears throat> no healing for you, my friend. No healing for you. Uh, so we are going to go with the good old team play here. It's only going to do 70. Like I said, if I put the Mew up in the front, that would have done a little bit more damage. But that was a mistake of my own part. So it's not no one's fault but mine. <clears throat> He has dropped the second Water Energy down, putting a Floatstone onto the Remoraid. We see a VS Seeker looking for another N, and we're going to get our hands reshuffled. 
My opponent is doing desperately everything he can to get himself into a good position. And I don't blame him. Uh, we have the Rough Seas comes back down. So our bench space is opened up. We're going to see the Max Elixir. Does he pull a Water Energy? And he does. It's going to go on to Lapras GX. <clears throat> We're going to see the Blastoise Spirit Link onto the active one as he does go for the heal. <clears throat> this is going to make for a little bit longer of a fight. But nothing we can't really handle. <clears throat> My play really is to switch him out and force him to take more damage, so I'm actually going to opt to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Now that I'm in, a, now that he's in a force and bad Blastoise, he might be able to set up on me, but it's hard to say how this is going to run. Uh, we are going to drop the Mew down. I do need another Pissimian, and I do need to get some energy going in order for this energy to start running properly. Uh, but we're going to go for that team play. Get another 70 damage down. Unfortunately, we're only going to be doing a lasting of 40 damage. But my opponent's good old Blastoise that is completely set up is pretty much in the bag. Waiting to be attacking us. I guess that may not have been the best idea. But you know what? It's all I can do. <clears throat> Stall him out best I can. Uh, we do see he drops a water entry onto the new Blastoise in the front. And he goes for a Hex Maniac, so this means I cannot use abilities this turn. My Muse are kind of useless, uh, which is fine, I guess. We're going to drop an, em an energy down there, and we are going to go for... My opponent doesn't have very many cards left in hand. I am going to go for a Sycamore, hoping to get that fourth Pissimian. I do not get... Oh, I get the Nest Ball, which is perfect. That That's literally getting my Pissimian. That is literally getting Pissimian. Now I've got the additional damage. Um, I don't need to go for the Bursting Balloon just yet. But I will grab another one. Uh, we will go for the Team Play, which is going to do a little bit more damage now. It's going to do 100 uh, flat out. So we'll be able to knock out this big bad Beastie Turtle next turn. And I've got a Mew in the back that can keep us going here. Uh, the Blastoise in the back has been fully healed. Um, we're going to see another end. My opponent had ends all the whole time. Able to keep himself going here. Uh, we've got two Bursting Balloons. We've got a Nest Ball in case something happens. Uh, did I, how many of revives have I gotten rid of? Just the one. Uh, we do see a Blastoise Spirit Link onto our opponent's active Blastoise. We're going to see another Max Elixir. So he's going to probably hit up a Water Edge. He misses though. And we're going to be able to see... Can the Octillery help him get this additional card draw? Now he's out drawing this right now, but he's got a slow poke. Oh no, slow king. Interesting play, this stalls him out a bit. But what's nice is all of my cards are attackers. We're gonna see the rapid spin come off. We're gonna take 30. And he's gonna switch out into the slow poke. Uh, we're gonna be able to go out to our Mew. This is going to be an interesting play. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we'll be able to take this guy out. If he wants to come in with an attacker, he's going to have to hit us. I don't really need to go for any cards at the moment. So I'm just going to go for the team play. And because all four Pissimians are now on the bench, we're going to do 130, which will knock out the Slowpoke. And we'll claim our first prize as a Nest Ball. So nothing too over the top, but we are going to see the Blastoise come into the active position. Uh, now again, he's going to have to take 60 if he wants to hit us. Um, he will probably take us out, not a big deal. Uh, but we should be able to get one of the Blastoise, unless he Mega Evolves. That is always an opportunity here. He could always Mega Evolve. Now this would be a good time for a Kukui to show up, to be honest with you. This would be a fantastic time for Kukui to show up. Speaking of which, there's the Kukui. He's going to draw two additional cards. But his attacks are going to do 20 more damage. But they're not necessarily important. Uh, he could actually Rapid Spin me, which will knock me out. But he'll still take the 60. He does just go for the Rapid Spin. Uh, he is going to take... It is increased to 50, but he's going to be taking 60 damage as well. Who does he go into? He 
goes into his artillery. Interesting play, my friend. Interesting. Uh, we're going to go into our Mew. Uh, but the Blastoise in the back did not escape the damage. We're going to get a Skyfield, so no more healing from you. Uh, we are going to put the uh, Double Colorless Energy back into the deck. And I do need to go for some additional cards here. So let's see if I can Nest Ball for Muse. There's only one Mew left in the deck, so I gotta keep that in mind. We've got it on the bench. And, uh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna go for a good old Bursting Balloon on the active. And go for a Sick more. I need Double Colorless Energy, and I did manage to get one, which is beautiful. Uh, I can start setting up the Fighting Energies in the back. And we're just going to go for that good old team play. It will knock out this Octillery, which is fine by me, because this is one, one of his card engines, and it is going to put us in a smaller upscale position. We got our Mew, which is also just as amazing, because if this one does go down, we can start setting up another one. Our opponent is going to go for the Slow King in the back, which if he can get the Royal Flush, he's going to make sure that that Mew in my lead is going to be out of a double colorless energy. <clears throat> We are putting pressure on, though. Nothing I can't say against that. Uh, but these, the healing from the rough seas is what's really caused us a bit of pain here. Um, but that's expected. Lapras GX is kind of just sitting there being like, Hey, oh, I'm on the board, but I'm not going to happen to do much. We're going to see an N come out right now, which is a bit of a problem. Because I was hoping to use those energies that I had. Especially while I had the opportunity to attack. But I got double colorless energy, so I'm okay. We're going to see the Rough Seas return. So there is more healing involved. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Uh, we're going to see another energy drop onto the Lapras in the back. And hopefully I can net a knockout here if he goes for the KO. He goes for the Splash Bomb. So he's going to just take the 60 damage here. Which is actually going to put us in a fantastic position. Because I can just bring up my Mew right now. I did get the special, or I did get my double colorless energy, so I'll be able to knock out one of these Blastoises, which is all I really want. Um, we're at 100 damage, and he has only got 180. Uh, we're gonna drop the Mew, no problem. Go for Trainer's Mail, and we're gonna get the Professor Kukui. Do I get Kukui? I guess I can get Kukui. We'll be able to take this guy out here. I'm looking for a special charge if there's still one left in the deck. Uh, there isn't, so I'll grab the town map, see what I've got left in my prizes, and this is going to give us a good option here because it means I can choose what's left from the prizes. And there's a double colorless energy in there, and a special charge! I know what I'm going for. Actually, I got a lot of really good utility in there. Um, I'm going to go for the Kukui, and this way it's at least via Secretable, and we're going to get a Bursting Balloon, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, because the other Blastoise is going to have to take some damage if he wants to take us out. Uh, so we're going to do 150 damage. I'm going to grab the Double Colorless Energy, and I'm going to grab the Sky Field. Because I do want to cancel off that healing. So we're going to be able to get rid of one Blastoise. We are one Blastoise away from winning this first match, which is pretty hype considering we are just using a bunch of Mew and Passimian. But again, 100 damage here, 100 damage there. It's a lot of damage! Uh, we're going to see the good old Lapras GX come in. Now, I do have the Skyfield to remove the Rough Seas. Hopefully, that'll be the last one that he has. Nope, there's one potential more. Uh, we're going to see an Escape Rope, which is a good play on my opponent's part. And I do have to go into my Mew. Now, if he takes me out, I can revive it. It's not a big deal. My opponent is being forced to use Pokemon, like, I'm being, he's being forced to attack just non-EX attackers. So like I said, if you guys are into cheap decks, this is fantastic, because Mew isn't overly pricey, and Passimians are uncommon. Like, look, look at that, he's an uncommon guy. Like, you guys, I'm having fun. Uh, we do see the Mega Blastoise, this is going to be a pain. Uh, and he is going to be able to do spread damage now, so he's going to try and start taking out Passimians as well. 
Uh, do we see we do see the Hydro Bombard come through. This is a bit of a problem. A bit of a problem. And the two Passimians in the back are going to take some damage. Mew is going to take 120. Uh, we're going to bring up our Mew. Now, my Bursting Balloon is going to be gone. Now, is that all four Bursting Balloons? It's three of them. So we do have one additional one still in the back. Uh, I am going to go with the good old Skyfield because I just don't feel like having it recover on me. That's just not cool. I'm going to revive one of my Mews back. Thank you. Uh, we'll drop the double colors energy down onto it. And in all honesty, I think my best play here is to try and take out the Lapras in the back. Or is it to get my card dropped? Let's go for a Sycamore. I don't really need the Ultra Ball at this point. I do get another Bursting Balloon. Which we're gonna go for. And I've got a bunch of VS Seekers still, so I can easily get Lysanders and all that kinda going. Alright, we're gonna go for the team play. Gonna go for that team play. Gonna do 130 damage. Which is quite a bit. In fact, if my opponent does not get a rough seize, we'll be able to take out the Mega Blastoise on the following turn. Um, my opponent's not in a very good position at all. And if he does think it's a good idea to switch, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a winner. Because my Mew, my Mew's gonna take him out regardless, whether it be this Mew, this Mew, or someone else. And none of my Pissimians are in range of being knocked out, which is also very good. So my damage output is still pretty high. We're going to see the Via Seeker. He's going to go for that N. He's going to drop me down to 2. Uh, this is a bit of a problem, but it's going to drop him down to 3-2. It's not the best thing in the world for him. And I got a Via Seeker. Well, we do see a Super Rod. But is that going to save my opponent? I don't think so. At this point in the game, I don't think so. Uh, we see the whole artillery line hit up the the deck again, but again, I don't really think that's going to matter. Um, I think he was just using it to use it. Uh, we're going to see a full retreat! That is fine! I don't mind that at all, because we do have the Lysanders and a VS Secret in the back, and this just means that we'll be able to take it out. He can easily claim my Mew as a prize, not a big deal. Uh, my Mew in the back is able to do enough damage. It does just go for the Blizzard Burn. You're gonna, I'm going to take 160, but the Lapras cannot attack on the following turn anyway. Uh, I do 130. I do 130 anyway. I don't even need to. There it is, guys. Game number one goes to Passimian. Now, you saw that we had to take on some EXs. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to be able to take on all the EXs. But, we did take on some pretty hype matchup there. And they had a ton of healing and all that kind of stuff. And we still put on enough pressure that my opponent could not and did not get the opportunity to take me out. With that being said though, if my opponent had uh, Lysandered out some of my Passimians and started knocking them out, I would have been in a bit of a problem because I didn't get enough uh, revives and stuff at the time. But with that being said, I was able to live off that Mew support so much that I was able to take out those big EX attackers without having too much of a difficult thing. And you guys saw that I was able to get double colorless energy pretty much all the time. I didn't even realize at one point that one of them was prized. So hopefully game number two kind of goes the same way, but we'll see how it goes in just a few seconds. Alright guys, our first match, or our first match? Our second match is against Jerome M. I don't know why I thought first one. Maybe it's just because I did so many first games before actually getting one to record. I don't know. It's it's weird. You guys don't know how much process it takes to get a good game in, on TCGO sometimes. Uh, we're going to win the coin toss, and we're actually going to go second here. Uh, would you like to go first? No, I'll let my opponent go first. I want to get that opportunity to attack. Um, and we don't actually get a basic Pokemon. With all those basics in the deck, we did not get one. Uh, I would have loved to have most of these cards. Maybe switch the switch out for a Passimian or a Mew. That would have been beautiful. But sadly, it doesn't. it's not always the case. But what's nice here is my opponent does not know what I'm running. Does not get a, a big sneak peek into anything. He knows I'm running fighting, but that was given. 
it was kind of given. I'm trying to get the new webcam. They, my XSplit kind of reset uh, this morning, so everything I had pre preset and everything for all this stuff, it was deleted. So I'm trying to get the webcam all back in position, and I'm trying to sit myself back in the right position as well. And it may not be the best. I don't know how well it'll turn out once everything is said and done. We're gonna get a Passimian and a Mew. We are gonna learn from our mistakes from the last one. Have Mew up front with a Passimian in back. I will be able to go for another Nest Ball. Uh, my opponent is gonna be able to get an additional card here. I don't really care for these sleeves. I don't know if you guys have been, but they did just come out with one that I really like that I want to try and grab before it goes. So I got a lot of playing uh, TCGO beforehand. Yep. Uh, we're going to see a Talon Flame in the active position. That's not good with an Eevee in the back. What are you playing at, my friend? What is the new Eevee going to showcase? Uh, it's going to be an Umbreon deck. Oh boy, this is going to be cool. I'm actually looking to build this for this week as well. We're going to see the energy drop onto the Talon Flame. But thankfully, he is not going to be able to get an attack off. Now, if I'm lucky, I can get four Passimian. But I'm in a very bad position here where I don't have the, ener er, the energy, I don't have the supporters. I've got another Nest Ball, but that's not going to map me too much. We're going to see an Eevee in the back, which is probably not going to evolve this turn. No, no evolutions this turn. And we're going to see an end. Phew. Thank you. Because I actually did not want the hand I have. I do want to get a support or maybe a couple other cards. Uh, we are going to see we get an end ourselves. We got an Ultra Ball. Uh, but a lot of the resources that I have, I don't really want to lose either. This is going to be a this is going to be a weird game. All right, it is our turn though. We have another double colorless energy, which we're going to drop one of them right here. Uh, we are going to drop. I don't need the Sky Field right now, and I don't really need the Special Charge. But I think I need the Sky Field less. Uh, I'm going to go for the Sky Field and the Ultra Ball drops. Uh, I'm going to go for the Shaman first. Do I go for the Shaman? Do I? Do I? Yeah, I go for the Shaman. I'm only going to get three cards, but it's going to get me enough that maybe I can get one Pokemon without having to rely on the end. I'm looking for Passimians. Come on, Passimian. No Passimian. I got nothing. I got absolutely nothing from that. That was a wasted Shaman. Should have just. It should have just ended. I should have. Uh, we still did not get a Passimian. Uh, we are going to drop a Mew. But if I do that, I can't take this thing out. Interesting. Uh, Ultra Ball, or Trainer's Mail, sorry. Do we get a Nest Ball? No, we get a Balloon Burst, though, which is good enough. I can support that. I can get behind that one. Go with that. And we're just going to go for a nice team play, which will do 40 dam. Uh, yeah, 40 damage. Because it is not coming from a fighting type Pokemon. It is coming from a Mew. So the weakness, or the resistance is not in play. That's the only thing that that's nice between the two is if we fight a bird, it's not going to be a problem. Now what is nice is Passimian will have super effective against it. We're going to see the Crushing Hammer, but it does fail, which is very good. We see another Crushing Hammer, but it does fail. Whew, we got out of that one. And we see a Team Flare Grunt. This guy is going all out for our energies right now. Uh, Arrow Blitz is going to hit him for, it hits for 40. He's going to look at some cards, but at the end of the day, I have an end in the discard pile, and I'm planning to use it. So you're not going to get too much here, and you're going to actually take a lot more damage uh, thanks to my Bursting Balloon. So you're actually in range of being knocked out. And you still will not have taken out my Mew. With that being said, I need to get some Passimian. So there's the additional 60. And we're going to get a Lysander. I'm going to opt... This is going to seem weird, but I know he's got two cards that he wants, so I do need to end right now. And all I have are supporters, so I need some other stuff. I need a couple more Passimians, maybe a double colorless energy. I don't get that. I get a Mew. We are having so much trouble getting that Passimian right now. That is insane. Come on, Trainer Smell. Nest Ball? I see him! I see him! He's right there! He's almost here! But unfortunately, we're going to get a revive instead. Uh, Pokemon have not hit the discard pile yet, so Revive is not going to do anything for us. Um, 
we are gonna get a... We're not doing so well on the luck this time. We'll take a special charge. I will be putting that... Did I just lose the one? Yeah, I've lost the one. Maybe I'll hold off on it right now. I can easily go for a fling right now and do 32 one of the... I'm gonna start setting up the back mute. I'm gonna have to pass this turn. We're not doing so hot. Now, and my problem here too is Pissimian can't do a whole lot of damage on his own. So we're gonna see the energy evolution. And it's gonna be Umbreon GX. Now look at this big bad boy. He's got Strafe, he's got Shadow Bullet. He may be weak to fighting, but that's a lot of HP. Uh, we have no energy. He uses support up for the turn. That's a lot of stuff he's going down. Shadow Bullet is going to take me out, no problem. 90 damage, and it's going to hit my Shaman as well. We're going to see the power behind Umbreon GX, and what could really be a fantastic card. Um... I'm in such a bad position. I do need to run my Pissimian up at the top. Because he's got an immunity to Psychic. I'm not getting the cards I want. We're going to drop the special energy back into the deck. I'm actually just going to opt to sacrifice everything I've got here. If I can get my Pissimians, this would be great. But I'm not getting Pissimian. I got one. I might get two. There's only... That's it. That's all our Pissimian love. I did get my double colorless energy, though. So we'll be able to hit you for what? Uh, three, six, seven? So 140? Eh. Trainer's Mail, what do you net me? A Skyfield? Skyfield's not gonna do too much here. And I've lost how many revives? Just one. Okay, so we're not, we're not out of this. Uh, especially since my opponent does have to uh, go for certain other things. But we are going to hit this thing for 140, which isn't too bad to start us off with. Um, and I can try and come in and clean it up with another Pissimian. But i got to be very careful. My opponent can take a set. Uh, actually, I don't think you can. Enhanced Hammer. You're going all out for these energy drops. I don't like this. I don't like it. No, 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 no. He Team Skull grunted me earlier, if you guys didn't see that. So you guys get to see the big old Full Arts Team Skull grunt. Thankfully, we did not have any energy in our hand at the time. Our opponent is going to go for another Team Skull grunt. Uh, thankfully, we did not have one. Our Mew is going to get some damage as well. Uh, we do have the Bursting Balloon, so my opponent will have to take me out now. Uh, which is fine. I'm gonna go for the special charge. Grab that double colorless energy, put it back in the deck. And we do need to go for another Sycamore, because I have no resources right now. I did not get the thing I was looking for. We're gonna drop a Mew. We're gonna Ultra Ball away one of each of these supporters. I gotta get a Shaman. There is no Pokemon left in the deck. Uh, that's just great. That's just great. Uh, we're gonna go for a fling and take out the Talonflame. So down goes the bird. Chalk that rock! Boom! And we gotta be a seeker. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, I could not take out the Umbreon. Now, if he comes at me, he will have to knock himself out, which is good. Level Ball does not work out. My opponent's not in the best of positions either. We see a Via Seeker, goes for an end drop though, that will put him into a very good position. Uh, so we are gonna end, we're both gonna drop our hands, pick up five cards, and my opponent might have a lot more coming. But we do get a double colorless energy. We see a double colorless energy drop onto our opponent's side. The Shadow Bullet is gonna hit, um, but you're gonna knock out two prizes for two prizes. So I'm actually in a good position there. And I have I'm going to actually put up my Mew. Uh, 
So we're gonna grab this prize and this prize, hopefully getting a Pissimian. One of them is a Pissimian, it's a Nest Ball. Don't care about the Nest Ball too much. Uh, I could love a VS Seeker right now. Uh, Kukui is not the right one. Uh, we can drop the Pissimian down. How many VS Seekers have I lost? Just the one. Just the one I've lost. I guess this would be the time to start setting up a Mew. I'm gonna go for the team play, knock out one of the four E- one of the Eevees is at least gonna go down, and we are one- one Umbreon GX away from taking this. We got a bursting balloon a little late, but it is what it is. Our opponent is gonna have to attack us, not- not a big deal. We are gonna see it's the Umbreon Full Art GX! Very nice, my opponent does play one more Eevee. Uh, does he have the, dr the Dark Energy though to attack? He's going for a Lily. He's gonna draw two additional cards. He does get that Dark Energy, so we are in a very bad problem here. Very, very bad problem. Uh, he's gonna start hitting up the other Passimians, knowing that my damage output is just that... that uh, scaling if it gets down to the right way. I need a little bit of luck here. We do get a revive, so I can bring back a Passimian. So our damage output could potentially knock this guy out. I have to go for the Sycamore here, because the fighting energy is just not going to cut it. But before I do, how many double colorless energies are in the discard? Just one. And I only have two prizes left. That means I have that potential to get one. That's all I need to win this game. And I got it, guys! Oh man, we're taking on Umbreon GX in all its glory, and we're taking him out. Uh, the other one was not prized, so we were actually okay. We had a pretty good odd there. Uh, but we are gonna go for team play, and we should be able to knock him out here. Uh, 200 damage from a Passimian, down goes the Umbreon EX! Baby, that's what I'm talking about! We had such a nice match up there. It was close! My opponent had a ton of output, and we could not rely on the Mew damage, so we had to use our Passimians in that matchup. But because of the super effective, we were able to scale that damage to exponential levels, and hit that 200 damage mark! It was fantastic! Um, but... That is all for Passimian. I hope you guys are enjoying the deck. Uh, let me know what you guys would have done to alter the deck. Maybe some other tips and tricks that you guys can lend me as well. Because like I've always said, I'm not a professional builder. I'm just coming out of the work. Kind of building decks the same way you guys are. So if you guys have any cool ideas, please pass them on. If you have a deck suggestion, please let me know. I'm hoping to head up two more Sun and Moon decks this week as well. So please keep an eye out for them through the following days. Uh, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are brand new here, please hit that subscribe button. But until next time... Time out.